Hey everyone, we are back. This is Nico from the blog documentingsimpleliving.com where I talk about simplifying food, self-care, and consumption in the modern world. You may have noticed that over the past weeks, most of the videos were pre-recorded and that's because I was expecting our next baby and now that that baby has arrived, I am back recording new videos. And today's video is going to be about how to make a DIY lavender pillow spray. If you have gone through the newborn phase, you might know that the sleep that you are getting is fragmented. And so I have been looking for small ways to increase my self-care, promote relaxation, deeper sleep. And I thought that lavender pillow spray was a really simple low-hanging fruit idea that I could try. Now, most formulas online to create pillow spray include either a type of alcohol or witch hazel, and that is to help make sure that the water evaporates quickly and doesn't leave your linens wet. But I actually really don't like the smell of alcohol or even witch hazel because I find it to be, still has that alcohol smell. And I especially don't want that smell on my sheets or pillows. So I'm actually just going to omit that today and just use water and lavender essential oil in this pillow spray. So as you can probably imagine, it's very simple to make. All I'm going to do is combine about 20 to 30 drops of lavender. I'm actually going to use 30 drops today because I want to be able to spray the pillow spray only a few times to not get the linens too wet. So I want the level of lavender essential oil to be very high so I don't have to spray the spray a bunch of times. And then after you put the 20 to 30 drops in your bottle, just fill the rest up with water. I'm using a glass amber spray bottle today, but you can of course um, just repurpose one that you have on hand. Glass is a bit better than plastic just because if you use certain essential oils in your bottles, some of them will promote some of the toxins from the plastic to leach out into the spray and so it's just safer to use glass and the amber glass bottles are the best because amber can help prevent sunlight from removing some of the potency of the essential oil. So I'm just going to use about two to three sprays of this pillow spray on my pillows before bed. So I hope that you enjoy making this. You can of course use any essential oil that you would want to use. I know that chamomile and peppermint are really relaxing scents as well. Eucalyptus, eucalyptus is good for stress relief. So you can mix and match um, depending on what your preferences are or even depending on what the season is because this would be a great gift for friends and family. I have a whole bunch of simple self-care ideas on documentingsimpleliving.com. I have body scrubs and really rich moisturizing lotion recipes and more. So if you are looking for simple, natural, nourishing self-care ideas, make sure to go to documentingsimpleliving.com and you'll find a few recipes there. I hope you are doing well and I will speak to you in the next Documenting Simple Living video.